Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to uh, talk about I'm going to have a little series on antivirus software and talk about the different antivirus that I, I will install and look at how they work for a few days and then um, you know, do a video talk about it what I think. So today we're starting our first one with Norton Antivirus. So I've installed the big package Norton 360. Of course, I've not paid for it. I just took the 30 day trial. There's a 30 day trial of Norton if you want to uh, hone this piece of software. And for 30 days, you get the full package, full working package of Norton. And um, so I've, uh, you no know, tested it. I went to websites. Actually, I went to a website that I knew would download a malware. Um, I tried a few things. It actually worked quite well and really protected me from a malware possibility. But it's also not perfect, and I'll show you why in uh, a few examples. Um, of course, no antivirus software is perfect. Nothing is a hundred percent. If you're looking for that magical uh, antivirus you know the comment I get from people is oh, well I got an antivirus why do I get malware well the first thing you need to know is that the biggest security threat to your computer is you and no antivirus will protect you from that they do the best job possible but they can't do everything so Norton 360 is a um, something like 60 dollars a year subscription and um, it's a big package it's 230 megabyte download so it's a big package now I this is a core i5 machine the running Windows 8 uh, the first thing that I've uh, actually wanted to see is how it affects the overall performance of my computer and I'm pleasantly surprised Norton um, I was a big fan of Norton Antivirus in the old days, you know, until about the 2003 or 2004 version. But somewhere around 2004, 2005, Norton became this really big package that would slow down your computer and just, you know, do too many things and it would be really, really horrible. And I left Norton back in 2005. Um, thanks to Norton, in a way, I came across free antiviruses and finally um, for most computers that I used I've actually been really happy with the free antivirus packages that I think some of them do you know a good job like uh, AVG free or um, the security essentials from Microsoft they actually do an, a decent job but when someone asks me the question is a free antivirus as good as a paid one no it is not a paid antivirus does protect you more checks a lot more stuff in your computer so um, Norton 360 is kind of a full security software it has uh, the antivirus it has a firewall it has identity theft protection it has a backup possibility so you can back up files to the cloud and it has a tune-up where you can optimize and clean your computer so it's kind of a you know a C cleaner with backup software uh, some kind of identity protection and the regular antivirus and firewall I'm very surprised it did not actually uh, put my computer slower it seems to be really really optimized and they've done I think a good job in making it um, you know with the least footprint possible in the computer so that you don't actually have a slowdown of what you're doing uh, I went on the web I did a lot of stuff and it actually works quite well um, it has this added feature that you can actually have that toolbar in every browser that you use, Firefox, Chrome, or uh, Internet Explorer. So if you actually uh, search the web, 
you get these little OK, green OK from Norton. It says that it's secure. But that's where the catch is. Example of that is the first one here is Malwarebytes. And I know there's a lot of websites that want you to download Malwarebytes from somewhere else than the original Malwarebytes uh, spot. So the second one here, I know that when you click here, you actually get malware and it does say OK. So you see that it's not perfect. It says it's safe. But, you know, there's a difference in, uh, in, in that I think is the important thing to know. Secure and safe does not mean the same thing. Secure means it's really, really secure. Safe, pretty safe. But when I clicked here, and I went to click that big green button to download uh, Malwarebytes. Then it popped up and said, whoa, there's a uh, malware in this software here. And I know because this website will actually install all those, you know, junk search conduit and um, my PC backup and all sorts of that crap. And so I'm kind of a little off by this, you know, safe thing here because uh, it is actually not safe but it did do the job for one is even though it said it's safe when I clicked here and downloaded it analyzed and it told me well okay the website is this download is not safe there's malware inside and it deleted the file so you still were protected but it's just a little curious uh, what do you get for uh, Norton 360. Well, first of all, the antivirus um, is actually scanning live scan of everything in your computer as you touch everything as you're going through your computer. You can run a scan um, to actually see if you have any anti uh, any viruses in your machine. Uh, there's the firewall management system. The full firewall is here. Uh, Norton's firewall is technically better than the Windows firewall that you get, but not by that much, actually. So, um, and I've not had any problems, you know. In the past, Norton had a lot of problems with trying to understand what should or should not pass through in the firewall. It's uh, much more quiet now. It's kind of those, you know, a firewall that's really quiet. They understand that people don't know what to answer to a question of, do you want to block this or that? Um, they've done a great job for making this better. The antivirus part is great. Uh, the identity protection that you have is um, when you go to a website, make sure that the websites you're going to are not, um, you know, phishing websites. They're not scam websites. This is where the identity protection comes in. They kind of have a list of all the websites that are bad. So if you try to click a link in email, for example, you um, if you go to a bad website, a phishing site, for example, for your bank, um, technically this web, this Norton will actually block the site and give you a message and it's going to say, oh, you are going to a website that is malicious and that's trying to scam you. Um, I've actually found a few pages that were kind of scam while trying to find some stuff on the web and it did block them and it did tell me well you know don't go there it's really really not good backup is a backup feature that you can actually buy some storage and it has a f you know backup on the cloud now the backup to the cloud is something that's nice, um, but it's, of course, not the best here. Um, of course, to really, really extend your storage, you actually need to um, buy more space. So if you have a lot of files, you know, like uh, hundreds, if you have like, you know, maybe 50, 70 gigabyte of data well the backup is actually not going to help much because you'll need to buy more protection and it can cost 
more for that. And finally, you get a tune-up, and uh, so you have disk optimization, which is kind of a uh, defrag of your computer. You have a file cleanup, so it will actually do whatever type of you know cleanup it can do in those temporary files, internet temporary files. Uh, it does not clean up as much as, for example, CCleaner would do. Um, it really stays to the minimum. Um, it does have this little diagnostic report where it can tell you if your computer's uh, actually running slow, if your resource or the computer's uh, you know being hogged by some kind of process and it's not working well. So it's going to tell you what goes wrong. And so um, the, the funny thing that I found here is that it can tell you your computer's really being... Uh, used by some process. Uh, the biggest problem here is I've seen slower computers with Norton. Um, Norton saying, well, you know what, your computer's running slow. Yeah, but uh, it's because Norton's doing a scan and it did slow down. So on older computers, I'm not sure Norton 360 is a good package because it will, um, you know, affect the performance of the uh, computer itself. Um, I think Norton 360 is a good package, but you'll need really, you know, recent computers, powerful computers. Uh, yet I've seen Norton on old machines, and I was a little surprised at how well the machines did hold up. And you've got a startup manager in the tune-up section where you can check for what's starting with your machine. You can, of course, turn off that startup and help your computer actually run better. Uh, what's nice about the startup here is that it shows stuff that is not in the general startup tab of your task manager. And that I, I, I liked a lot. So overall, um, after three days of use and really, really going through the gymnastics of the Norton antivirus, I've uh, actually liked the package. Uh, for 60 bucks, I think it's 55 or $60 a year, you do get good protection and uh, all sorts of, you know, help and tune-up and identity theft protection stuff. I think it's nice. And I think that if you hone a uh, business or, you know, play with your computer and do a lot of stuff, a lot of people use it, and you actually do your main uh, banking and stuff like that on your computer, a good package like Norton 360 is important. Uh, better than a free antivirus. I am surprised at Norton 360. I was really, really um, kind of negative about Norton for a while. And um, with this package, I actually am happy to see that they've done a great job in maintaining and helping the package run better. If you want to see it for yourself, what I suggest before you actually go out and buy it because you're saying, oh, well, this guy's saying that Norton 360 is not bad. Um, one thing that I suggest with Norton is to get the trial first. Why? Because if you have an older computer and you want to see if your computer is going to be able to handle well Norton 360, then... Uh, go into Google and just type uh, Norton 360 trial and make sure you go to the Norton website you'll see the Norton download here Norton.com free trial you'll go to that page where they have the trial download for 30 days you have full full working antivirus every every option is uh, working you do have to make a uh, account, a free account, for it to activate for 30 days. And uh, if you decide that you want to keep it, then after 30 days you'll have the possibility to buy a subscription and uh, keep the antivirus for, the, uh, for a full year, for about $55, $60. Uh, one thing I noticed, they often have sales, and I've noticed that some uh, Norton uh, 360 products are actually lower priced. Um, one interesting thing is that I've seen that on the website it is generally at around 55, 60 bucks. 
But the funny thing is that um, at Best Buy in Future Shop here, I've noticed that it is often on sale at like twenty nine ninety nine. So it seems to be better to buy it in a store than to buy it online because you do save a lot of money. And I mean, when you're at about 25, 30 bucks for an antivirus software, um, I think, you know, it's just so cheap, 30 bucks for a year, that's really not expensive and uh, it's worth it, really. Um, I agree that at 60 bucks, it's a little steep. I, uh, I find that 60 bucks for Norton is a little steep for an antivirus product. But, you know, 30 bucks, 30, 35 bucks would be a, a great price, I think, for that. But uh, check out your local Best Buy or computer shop because um, it is surprising. Sometimes you do get the uh, Norton product at a lower price in a store. And also a lot of you out there, uh, because I see this every day, a lot of people don't want to do online transactions. Uh, they're always scared of you know putting their credit card online. So why not just go out at your favorite computer store and buy a copy if you like it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this little look and review of Norton 360 running in Windows 8. And hopefully it might be a solution for you and using your computer. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. And maybe you have a video of some Windows 8 feature you'd like. Why not ask us? And uh, hopefully you enjoy our channel. If you have that new Windows 8 machine or planning to buy a new computer with Windows 8, lots of videos online to help you learn how to use Windows 8 to the max. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon on the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.